I spoke of the AI stack, it's incredibly important that under the action plans that you have laid out and Michael Kratz just spoke of, we really uh, help promote the AI stack, which is not semiconductors only, those are incredibly important, but it's semiconductors, it's software, mm -hmm. it's the systems which many of us here build, and it is the software applications on top. The ability to take those to all our friends in countries, so all the friendly countries, is going to be very, very important. And we wish to work with your government to make sure that we can do that, because otherwise we're afraid that competing countries are going to be able to get that stack. So we would say that. Anything we, uh, that you're looking at that we can help you with so that you create a bigger and better IBM and hire a lot more people, anything you need? A few countries, uh, we'll speak to members of your administration to make sure that those can go and that uh, barriers get lowered for being able to do it quickly. We agree guardrails are necessary, but lower barriers will be very, very helpful. You mean tariffs? No. Because are they, are these country tar are they tariffing you any, you know, making your life difficult? Are they doing anything else to make your life it's, difficult? It's the ability to take certain systems which have semiconductors inside them into these countries. So right now, because we have uh, controls on where all the semiconductors can go, then the entire system is restricted. There are two exciting things happening in the world of technology coming right now. One is as AI become the new form of computing, AI is going not only to the data center, but to everything, to cars, to PCs, and we see now the ability to run models that you can only run AI in the data center. You can run that on a microcomputer, on a computer for Enrique, on a server, uh, a small server uh, on-premise. So I think we're gonna see the proliferation of AI.